All right, today we're going to paint an Eldar Guardian from Ulthway. Here's your paint list. First, we base coat with black. When this black dried, it ended up being really glossy, so I knocked it down with some matte varnish. Now black's a funny color to paint. You can't 45 degree it with gray and then highlight on top of that because then it just ends up looking gray. That's how we would paint gray. So the thing to remember with black is that the shadow and the midtone are the same color. They're gonna be pure black and the way you sell black is the way you highlight it. So the idea I have is I think of Batman's suit, kind of a matte black, and it's really dependent on where you put your highlights in order for your black to not turn gray. So to do the highlights, I use Sunny Skin Tone and it's diluted 10 parts thinner to one part paint. And if you go overboard and it starts to look gray, Rebase coat that area with black and keep working in your highlights little by little. The reason we didn't work over the black being gloss is because it's really hard to see where this paint is going on unless the matte varnish is on there. And with the matte varnish, you can kind of use the light and see where your highlights should be. And then exaggerate them like we usually do. The first edge highlight will be neutral gray. I like this color because it goes on bright so I can see it, but it dulls down and gets darker as it dries. So immediately you can see where you put the stuff, but it's not too much of a drastic change. Now we do the second highlight, which is ivory. And this will be your brightest point. So I like to hit these corners and select areas. Now we base our cloth and our little arm wrap things here with gory red.
Now instead of jumping up to blood red, I decided to do something different. And since we already had ivory on the palette, I decided we'll highlight these red areas using ivory. Then we take some red ink and apply that over the red areas. It may take two coats depending on what kind of ink you're using, things like that, but we're working with the transparency in order to let that ivory we just applied count as the highlight. It took me about two applications to get the red to be truly red and not pink because of the ivory. And I'm not sure that I filmed it, but we did the gem just like we did in the Sam Han video, which was coating the gem in ink and then taking a black wash and pulling that up to the top. And now we base coat the helmet using beige. This will give us our bone color. And then we highlight the beige using ivory. You can shoot downward at this at a 45 degree, but you don't want to hit the back directly. So you can hit the sides and the front and try to get that little back part there that's facing upward. And now we base coat the gun beige also. This took a couple coats. I think this was the second coat that I put on. And then we highlight that beige with ivory, just like we did the helmet. And again, this might take multiple coats to get an even color. But you're trying to leave that beige just in the details. Now we'll paint the eyes. If you accidentally painted them black when filling in the face, just paint those white with some of that ivory you might have on the palette. And I just took a fluorescent green and painted those in. Now we prepare for the oil wash by applying gloss varnish. This will reduce surface tension, make that wash flow a bit better, and protect the paint job underneath. We start with the first wash, which is ivory black. And then for the bone areas, we used burnt sienna. And this is just oil paint thinned down with mineral spirits. And 
And now we take just straight mineral spirits and cotton buds and start to clean up the oil. And this is after I, I blew dry the model and once the oil didn't look wet anymore, this is when I did the cleanup. And you can puff out the Q-tips to get some of those hard areas. And when everything looks good, matte varnish it all, seal it in. And we'll hit these little last bits of metal according to the reference picture using steel. And you're pretty much done. Throw your basing on of your choice, whatever fits your army theme and have fun with that. See you next time.